what's up, Kempsey here and welcome to my news tutorial. So finally I'm back making any videos of my own. Uh, like you guys have seen in the last week, I just uploaded the places of my 6k speed art contest. But now I'm back making my own videos like tutorials and speed arts. And I hope I can be pretty active with that. And today I'm bringing you a tutorial. But before I start with the tutorial, I would just like to say something about my 7k special video. So actually you guys voted for a GFX pack and I mean I'm gonna be doing a GFX pack even if I think there's no big point for making one but you guys want it and um, I'm gonna be making it as my 8k GFX pack because I'm just really close to 8k or at 7.6k I guess or 7 or 5k something like that and when I make the GFX pack I'm gonna be trying to make it pretty exclusive and trying to get stuff in which isn't in pretty much every other GFX pack so it will take my um, its time and I won't be finished until I hit 8k probably so I'm gonna be doing it for that and probably I'm gonna be doing the uh, promotion for underrated GFX designers at 9k so yeah I just think it's a good thing because people who are pretty awesome but don't really have some subscribers it's pretty hard for them to get out, so I just would like to help them with it. But anyway, um, back to the tutorial. This is what I'm actually going to be showing you. So, yep, it's normal browser text, but it's multicolored, so every letter got his own color. And this actually, there are, I guess there are quite a few um, ways to do it. I'm going to be showing you the way how I do it, and how I really like it. So yeah, um, let's start, we will start in Cinema 4D and for that just make a normal text and I hope, yep, here. So we've got a normal text layer, I'm gonna be calling it tutorial like this or uh, yeah, just like that. So um set up your text however you want to have it. Um, I think for that effect it would be nice if you would put the depth on at least 300 because it looks really good if you look at that the depth of it. If you just have like a text which got a depth of like 20 it doesn't look too well. It looks good as well but I would prefer making it um, you know just more deeper. So um, when you set it up your text however you want it, um, put a color on, material, I'm going to be going with a really bright white. And now make sure you're on the text and use drowsy. I've already made a tutorial on that, but if you haven't seen that tutorial, actually go to pieces, set them to 30 or 40, something like that, I really like 30. Now hit Voronoi and hit clear edges or clear edge and I just break so it will actually break this depends on how many letters your text actually got and sometimes it always depend it also depends on the font you're using so yeah um, in the time this actually breaks I'm gonna be talking a bit about dark design because actually um, I think we got a sick team together and we're gonna be really active we cleared up our channel a bit so definitely make sure you go and check them out actually um, Big E is a leader together with me so yeah um, just make sure to check it out the team is pretty awesome I guess and um, I hope and I'm sure that we will bring you awesome content in the next few days weeks months and yeah so I'm gonna be putting the link in the description uh, just make sure to go check it out and yeah so what I could say else about that in the time it actually breaks um, um, I apologize again for not being that active in the last few days it just was I got in college uh, and everything was like a bit it's not too hard I mean it's just you know first days are always quiet uh, getting in a new class and stuff like that but I'm sure I can get back for 
for you guys get back being more active and I'm trying to produce two to three videos a week so yeah um, this actually is close to finish L the last letter actually would probably have been better if I would choose a shorter word for this tutorial but yeah, anyway um, okay it's done and you see it got this breaks this is normal drowsy stuff now make sure you untick all those red axes make them green and click on the first material of here so I'm gonna be going with the orange color because I think orange is one of the best colors you can put into different colors um, because it's it's a bright but dark color um, at the same time I don't really know how to explain it that well but actually I would recommend you to use orange because um, that is pretty much that you can pretty much change it to yeah pretty much every color so um, when you set the color to orange actually there was a reflection so you just set the color to orange like that go to reflection this is orange as well um, and put it on the brightness on about 30 percent 30 or yeah something around 30 percent just play around how you would like it better now go to glow and put the up strength to 100 percent so this is actually a glowing material and now you will see if you open up one of those pieces you see there's one of the two materials orange and that is the inner material so if you break it now we do it with a mogrip effector and then random effector and I just play around with the strength some people like it most at 5% some at 10 some at something more I'm gonna be going with 8% so if you render this out now actually it should look pretty cool the normal text should be white or silver and the breaking stuff the inner stuff of the browsy breaking should actually be orange and you see yep it is um, actually in the render view it doesn't look too well the glowing effect is just coming when it's uh, finished with the render so we will wait a second to see the glowing effect I think that effect makes it pretty cool you can leave out the glowing effect if you want to but I think it looks pretty cool so now you see um, if you look there I don't know if you will see it on YouTube if you will see the change between the render view and the actual view just change the glow over here so yeah so just go and save it somewhere I'm saving it on the desktop and run it up. So yeah. Um same time you can make a new document over here. Just like that. I'm gonna be coloring background direct that you see which changes we actual will do and you can see better what we actually gonna be doing with the text so yeah um anyway this should be done in a second it's probably just gonna be taking hours Guess it's what the fuck is this doing? <laughs> like seriously? Okay. So yeah, get into Photoshop and open it up. So put it in a document you just made, like so. Okay, you actually see everything's orange, but we want to get it looking like this with multicolored letters. So what we go. Uh, what we do is go on the polygonal lesser tool make sure you're on the layer of the text 
and go around the first letter, like actually that T. You can be in the gray part of the uh, U, because actually it won't change anything in there. So I would also recommend you to not make the main color of the text any color. I would recommend you to keep it in gray, um, like black, white, gray, silver, something like that. So anyway, um, if you selected all the parts of the T actually which are orange, go um, hit that little button down here, it's that circle, half circle white, half circle black, and go to use saturation. So this little window will pop up and you see there's a new layer. This layer actually just um, has this little field and you just select it. So if you change the color of it now, it just changes the color of this little section. So you see you can change it to a yellow. Now I'm going to be keeping the W. Uh, just the U, sorry. So now go ahead with the T. Oops. Like so. Make sure you're on the text again. Hit that button again and use saturation. Change it to like a blue. And do this again with uh, every letter you want to change. So actually, I'm going to be going with the. O as well. Make sure you don't cut out any orange parts of another letter, which isn't the O, like at this um, in this case the R. Didn't do that. Just make sure you, the orange parts of the O's are um, of the O is selected. So play around with it, make it pink maybe, and just do this with everything you want so this maybe can take a bit time yes. okay I'm not gonna be making it that clean right now so if you do it make it clean take your time for doing this because actually at the end it should look pretty cool so yeah um I'm doing the L as last one right now, so just like that. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be carrying that one in a green. So, um, actually, you see, you can change it to pretty much every color you want to change it to, and I think it looks pretty cool. So if you have a multicolored background, multicolored wallpaper, or something you have multicolors in, like rainbow colors or just two different colors, you can pretty much change the letters with that, change the color of, the, of every single letter like that. Um, I guess there are more um, ways to do this, but I'm actually doing it this way. I think it's the easiest way for me. And yeah. So when you're done, you can pretty much merge all the layers together. So this is just one layer, and you can move it to wherever you want to move it to. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope, even though the browser isn't used that much anymore, or I mean, it's used very often, but I'm not a big fan of browser anymore because it's just, I guess, overused. I think this effect. Let's it look pretty cool, even though it's not the best anymore. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did so, please like and comment. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go and subscribe it. Make sure I'm gonna be doing an 8K JFX pack and probably the promotion for underrated designers at 9K. So yeah, um, if you have any suggestions for other tutorials please leave them in the comment section or PM me and yeah I'm out peace